Malad, have you ever gotten an order messed up? I think the worst feeling in the world is ordering some good food, being so excited about what you're about to eat, and then you get home and the order is in shambles. Missing food, no sauce, no napkins, the absolute worst case scenario. This happens all the time, and it happened to me and one of my friends who went to a subway recently. Wait until you hear how he dealt with it. Also, 77% of you guys aren't subscribed, so if that's you, please subscribe because clicking that one button will change my life. So whenever I go out to get food now, I have to make sure to pull over to the side and see that every Everything I ordered is in the bag. These trust issues 100% stemmed from my childhood because when I was a young lad, my parents would let me and my brother pick where to eat after every single football game we won. And one time after a big playoff win, my mom took me and my brothers to a McDonald's. I was so excited to order my $2 menu cheeseburgers, a McFlurry, and a small fries. But when we got to the window, I heard the most devastating words imaginable. They were, the ice cream machine broke. My world was destroyed, but I was still destined to get my two cheeseburgers and fries. We went to the window, kindly asked for some barbecue sauce, and went on our way. Way. Me and my brother were hype and I didn't even think about the McFlurry anymore. But when I opened the bag of food, I was horrified. They forgot one of my cheeseburgers and my barbecue sauce and my dad ate half of my french fries on the ride. And then we lost our next game and never went back. Something similar actually happened to my friend at Subway a few weeks ago and this man is the nicest man I know. We'll call him Derek. Recently, Derek told me that he's been watching the videos and it motivated him to incorporate Subway into his diet. For two weeks, he was getting the protein bowls from Subway every single day. But one day, they forgot to put the meat. They forgot to put literally the only ingredient that matters onto the bowl. It's like forgetting the patty on a burger and just handing someone two buns with a tomato in between. Derek was understanding though, humans can make mistakes. So he wrote a strongly worded email to the manager of the store about this matter, hoping they would fix it. And well, the manager replied with one word, sorry. From that day forward, Derek never went back to Subway and I figured out the connection between a man and his meat.